What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Porch Shop here and I'm coming at you with another video. Two videos in one day. You guys must be so blessed. Something bad's gonna happen though because it's like Catholic, like uh, the Kyle Kinane joke. It was like, oh, two sunny days in a row? Yeah, something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> you know, something like that. So, anyway, I wanted to talk about something else today. Um, not Dallas Cowboys kind of personal I don't know I just wanted to just talk to you guys and say what's up I know that I just did a video earlier and I only have like one comment and like 10 views on it but I don't care that's 10 people that uh, I can put in a room and converse with the way that I see like YouTube views is the number of views equals the number of people that you're talking to like at once so like for example like my most recent video yeah I'm talking to 10 people but like let's say my Lon John Silver's food review which rest in peace Lon John Silver's again not even Catholic I'm still crossing myself Lon John Silver's and AW is debunked in Amarillo that that makes me very sad but anyway I um I see the Long John Silver's video as as 23,000 views, as 23,000 people that I am sitting on a stage or in my car, if you will, eating food and talking and getting a conversation started and hearing applause and all that good stuff. And that's the way I see it. A lot of people, like, I, I straight up uh, one time was told oh my gosh, this video's been out for three hours and it only has 24 views. This is, a, this is a sad channel. This is a poor channel. And I'm like, well, that's 23 people that I fit in a room. So there you go. But I am humble when it comes to 23,000. Would it be cool to have a viral video? Oh yeah, absolutely. Am I even close? No not even close to a viral video but I honestly still think it is a great honor to have 23,000 views on not one but two food reviews and over 3,000 of you guys now 3,000 piglets and the way that I see that having 3,000 of y'all sitting in a room that's that's even better that's even more fantastical so I wanted to talk specifically to y'all about just in general how much y'all mean to me how awesome you are this is a dedication to the piglets uh, because during my June vlog challenge I had probably the most outreach the most um, participants that I've ever had when it came to not only f a food review, but it also came to just in general on this channel, um, that I had people like Dodger Blue telling me or asking me questions and telling me to ask him questions. And I had people like Jerry that was like just questioning everything that I did and everything that I said. And uh, that's great because you got to keep an open mind, you got to think about these things. And uh, one of the reasons that I am making this video is I am part of Dollar Shave Club. And uh, they're not paying me to do, well, like, they could potentially pay me to do this. Uh, and by that, I mean, if I refer a customer to join Dollar Shave Club, they give me 10 bucks. So any of my piglets out there that wanna join Dollar Shave Club, um, I think the cheapest that they have is like, uh, obviously I think you pay $5 for your first order. And then uh, like right now I'm buying razors every three months because I don't, I shave, but I don't, I don't shave very often. I probably shave once a week and one razor can last me like three or four weeks. So it's kind of tuggy and pulley in some areas, but I mean, it still works. But if you want to join Dollar, Dollar Shave Club, just let me know and I'll send you a refer, referral code and uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, um, each order that you get, they have like a little, uh, like a pamphlet, like a little uh, thing that you can read. And uh, this one 
said um, how to make up your mind or, or and, and uh, identify your self-worth or something like that. And it was full two pages. Well, not really full two pages. It had pictures on top. That's not the reason I do it, because I like pictures. I like to read with pictures. And um, so it had picture and like two paragraphs and then picture and then two more paragraphs. But pretty much what it was saying is that you pretty much have to make up your mind on your own and that even though there are reliable sources around you, you still need to question things. You still need to um, do your own research. You still have to have your own mindset when it comes to things. And uh, that you pretty much just, when it comes to relying on something, you might as well just bet on yourself. And uh, I saw that and I was like, oh, that's not bad. That's actually, that's actually kind of cool. So I read it. Um, and it had it broken down uh, into four sections. So one was like, um, um, the people around you, um, it was like, yeah, you can trust the people around you. Like it, it said, for example, like you have a friend that is very reliable and doesn't lie very often, but then you also have a friend that does lie. And it's just like, you know, you have to find a counterbalance between those two because the friend that's lying could actually be telling you the truth and the friend that usually tells you the truth could be lying to your face. You don't know. And then the other one was, uh, the second section had something to do with just in general, just pretty much just identifying your self-worth and, um, make up your mind. The third one was, um... Oh, what was the third one? The third one was, oh man, I just lost it. I had it in my head and I lost it. Fantastic. Uh, I'll get back to the third one. The fourth one was pretty much just an overall summary of just, just be you, be the best you that you can. And uh, oh, the third one was do your own research. So a lot of things will pop up like in the, the world of uh, social media and in the world of just everything, news, what have you. The media sometimes will tell you some things and uh, it's up to you to do your own research. Like if the, uh, let's say CNN comes out tomorrow and says, you know, Donald Trump set fire to a McDonald's because they wouldn't serve him a Big Mac, you know, something like that. You gotta, you gotta do your own research on that. You can't just take that and run with it, you know? Or it could say tomorrow that uh, Bill Gates finds the cure for cancer by hiring a team of 100 of the best scientists around the world. Again, sounds awesome, sounds great, but you gotta do your own research to see if that's true or not. Because you have things like the Onion and the Babylon Bee and stuff like that. You gotta be careful. Because there are some friends on my Facebook even where it's like, um, uh, They'll, they'll post something and I have to go do research. Like, unfortunately, Rip Torn died. Rip Torn. I can't remember his name. Oh, that makes me sad. Uh, Patches O'Houlihan from Dodgeball um, passed away yesterday. Usually when a celebrity passes away, I have to Google it myself to make sure it's true because I have been caught almost with my pants down uh, a couple of times. One was Betty White um, somebody posted that she died in her home. Um, and then I actually clicked on the article and it said that she dyed her hair <laughs> in her own home. So it's like, okay, dying and dying your hair, those are two different things. And the person that posted it, uh, needs to, uh, check himself before he wrecks himself. Uh, and then another one a few years back was Ace Fraley, the, uh, lead guitarist of Kiss, the former lead guitarist of Kiss, badass solo artist. Um, actually just released an album, uh, Spaceman. Go check it out. Ace Fraley, Spaceman. And he has Origins Volume 2 coming out this fall, so go check that out also. Two albums in one year. Woo! So anyway, a couple years ago, it said that he, he committed suicide. He, he took his own life. So, me being a huge Kiss fan, I was upset immediately. But then, I did a little bit of research and come to find out he's still alive and even he was kind of like cracking up about like why would I kill myself you know I got a good life I got a good thing going on that's stupid <laughs> even though he has had a few near-death experiences in his life but 
again, that's that's a different topic for a different day. But anyway, yeah, at this point, I'm just rambling. I just wanted to say, guys, if anybody's going through anything right now, if you feel like that you are worthless, if you feel like that nothing's going right, you got to identify your self-worth. You have to identify what makes you you, what makes the people around you love you, and what just ultimately makes you wake up in the morning. And there are some days, I'm not going to lie, there are some days where I wake up and I'm just like, ugh, I'm useless. <laughs> but most of the days, like Ricky Bobby, I wake up in the morning and I piss excellence. That's just how it goes in my life. Um, it drives my wife crazy sometimes, but that's just life. So, anyway, just know that if you ever need anybody to talk to, I'm here. You can talk to me on here. You can talk to me on Facebook. Add me on Snapchat and message me on there if you need to. Just know that if you feel like there's nobody around you, if you feel like that there's nobody there, I got you. I'm here for you regardless if it's something that I disagree with. Uh, we could have totally different views on sports, politics, pop culture, what have you. But still, I'm going to listen. And uh, another part of the article that I read in the, uh, the uh, Dollar Shave Club pamphlet, I can't remember what it's called, said um, pretty much don't be closed-minded. That you uh, clo being closed-minded is pretty much not listening to the truth and you're just set in your own ways and nothing's going to change you, which I don't know. Anyway, guys, just know I'm here for you. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, even if you can get it in 280 characters or whatever, I got you. If nobody's around you, if you feel like nobody gives a shit, I'm here for you. But guys, I'm, I am here. I'm coming to pick up my food, going to get me a cauliflower crust pizza and a toss salad. I am excited. And uh, it's at a local place here called La Bella, so you should definitely give it a shot if you're ever in Amarillo. All right, guys, thank y'all so much. I think it's also in Level Land in Lubbock, so my my regional piglets go for it. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I love y'all very much. Um, I totally jumped the gun on that one. Thank you guys so much once again for dropping by, and always remember my little piglets, Colin Porkchop. Loves y'all the most. So y'all take it easy, guys, and I will see y'all next time. Hopefully tomorrow, I just post one video, if any at all. But today, I just felt like that somebody needed to hear this, and there you go. Bye, guys!